model number CPN-HZ197, a wind turbine transmission. 15 tons of steel now lie in the shop. But something's wrong. Technicians were unable to pinpoint the problem on site, let alone repair it. The wind and weather have taken their toll. Things stopped running smoothly about eight weeks ago. Much like the drive belt in a car, you often don't see or hear anything until it breaks down. But if repairs aren't made in time, the whole transmission might need replacing. Sensors within the turbine housing had been transmitting signals of abrasion. It's time to act, but technicians need to take a closer look to find out what's wrong. Manufacturers say their transmissions have a service life of seven to ten years. This one rang for nine. Troubleshooting and repair are complicated. They can take days or even weeks. A hydraulic wrench is needed to remove rusty nuts and bolts. You can do it by hand, but it would take a ton of effort. First, you'd heat it red hot with a torch, then put a four or five meter long pipe on a wrench to get enough leverage to loosen it. An hour later, they still don't know if it's worth making the repairs. They have to keep going. Everything must be recorded so that the customer can monitor the work later. That's why photo documentation is so important. The wind turbine operator pays the bill no matter what they find. Judging from the oily deposits, the technician makes a prognosis. I think it's coming from the spur pinion, from the gearbox. Meanwhile, the first hundred photographs are being uploaded. So how much does a repair like this cost? As a reference point, you can estimate that on average, work like this costs about two-thirds of the price of a new one. And how much is that? Depending on the transmission class, new would run between 100,000 and 200,000 euros. Put in perspective, that means the repair costs could range between 70,000 and 140,000 euros. The planetary transmission is exposed. Repair is looking like a reasonable proposition. But they'll only know for sure once the clamping ring is down. About 5,500 wind turbines have been repaired in Germany as of June 2013. By noontime, they're down to the sun pinion. The rows of teeth are pitted, so this part is ready for the scrap heap. Replacement isn't a problem. This company makes their own. But the technicians find more damage. Oh, yeah. They can see that the anti-friction bearings are shot even before they open them up. This is the heart of the transmission and the part that's subject to the greatest stress. The bearings design dates back at least a decade. Turbine builders have learnt a lot since then. Many of the 400 other parts are still as good as new. An engineer gives management a status report. They're the ones who'll have to explain it all to the customer later on. The engineer says they won't be able to put the ring gear back in. Well, at least the transmission housing was intact. Three weeks later, about half of the parts have been replaced overhauled or recast. When it's finally reassembled, the transmission is placed on a test stand where it must run much more quietly than before. Germans are far more sensitive to wind turbine noise than they used to be. But it's all paid off. This CPN HZ197 can go back in service. 
fit once more for Germany's shift to renewable energy.